Kneheiser, founder of Beacon Rock Research for Mining Clips, and with me is Ira Thomas, president and CEO of Kamenak Gold Corporation. That's KAM on the Toronto Venture Exchange. Ira, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Well, I've seen the, the, your project, and I got to tell you, it's, it was one of my favorite projects on my last trip to the Yukon. Why don't you tell me about your project? Well, I'm glad to hear that. You know, this project is rather unique in the Yukon. It is a um, high grade structurally uh, hosted hydrothermal gold deposit. It's a gold only system uh, and uh, there are not many of those in the Yukon so we're pretty excited about it. So far we've uh, basically identified about 3.2 million ounces of an inferred resource and we drilled an additional 55,000 meters last year and we'll be updating that resource shortly. Well, one of the things when I was there it, it seemed like it had great opportunity to expand the resource uh, along strike and at depth um, kind of tell me about the strategy you've had leading to this point and where you think you might be taking it going forward. Sure, you know, we really believe that coffee is a new gold district in the Yukon and as such we're really just scratching the surface literally. Uh, we've got kind of our first resource that we think could represent our first mining opportunity, uh, but we've got a long ways to go to evaluating the full potential of the area. So all of our deposits remain open along strike and to depth. They all start at surface. Uh, and there is also a high proportion of what we call oxide resources there, which so far have uh, pro proven you know, very amenable to heap leaching. So you were dealing with 3.2 million ounces at a grade of just under 1.6 grams per ton, which makes it quite high grade. Uh, and we're getting greater than 90% uh, gold recoveries from our, uh, basically our leaching tests, our column leach tests, uh, in just under 40 days. Now it's in the Yukon, so can you talk a little bit about infrastructure and water and power and those kind of things? Sure. You know, I've spent almost uh, my entire career working north of 60, and I have to say coming to the Yukon was, uh, was a real pleasant surprise with respect to infrastructure. Though we don't currently have a road that comes directly to our site, we are surrounded by a good network of road and power, and we have made uh, investments in local infrastructure improvements uh, such that we can now access our site um, all year round, and we've been able to really bring our drilling costs down from about $500 a meter when we first started uh, at Coffee in 2000. 2010 to around $230 a meter all in and that's because we now have a barge uh, where we can ship in bulk fuel and supplies and we've constructed a, lo a local road on our property a 23 kilometer access road so that's really helped to bring our costs down and allow us to get into that site um, all year round if we wish. Now what should investors be looking for as far as news releases or types of uh, catalysts in this coming year? You know, it's a busy year. Um, Kamenak has been busy for three years and we're continuing with a pretty pretty strong pace, but we are looking forward to an updated 43101, which will be out in the, in the coming weeks. Um, upon that, we'll be initiating our first PEA on the project. So this is a preliminary economic analysis where we're going to look at, uh, you know, basically what uh, parameters uh, we need to achieve in order to, you know, to build a mine. So it's, it's going to be an exciting year for us. Great. Well, uh, thanks for uh, joining me. Again, I'm Mike Neheiser from Beacon Rock Research, and with me is Ira Thomas, President and CEO of Kamenak Gold Corporation. That's K-A-M on the Toronto Venture Exchange. Ira, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much.